Hey Collective, Kimberly here. And as you can see, Jot Form has officially announced it's available to the public pre-fill capability. So there's been some studies saying that 86% of people who open a form leave and don't fill it out because it's either time or energy consuming. 86%, that is a ton of people. So this pre-fill option will allow you to pre-fill the form for the people who you'll be sending this form to, so that way they spend less time on the form. So let me show you how. So I, I left this here so you could see it says announcing Jot Form Prefill. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this. So for me, we have a new catalog that's launching in August, and I normally send out a form in July to capture their information, especially people who maybe have moved, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a form. I'm gonna start from scratch. I prefer the classic form because I want them to see all of the questions at once. I'm just gonna pull in their name, their email, their address, and their phone number. I'll also be adding in other questions like on a scale of one to 10. But for right now, this is good. So when you go up to publish, over on the left-hand side, you see this pre-fill option. Now you can see you have a lot of options in order to pre-fill your form. The first one, a manual pre-fill, this is you manually entering your customer's information for them. So this is great if you only have maybe one or two people. Um, but if you have more, say your entire contact list, maybe you're gonna export it from the workstation or you already have another spreadsheet, you're gonna wanna use the jot format table pre-fill. So this would be you importing your spreadsheet into a jot form table so that way you can access it there. Um, if you've already sent a form before, like I mentioned, I send one every single season. So I already have a form that people have filled out. So I can use the form pre-fill. I can choose the other forms submissions to pre-populate this one. But I'm just gonna do the manual pre-fill just to give you an idea of what that looks like. So for the manual, you'll click a new pre-fill. And this is where you enter in their information. So I'm gonna enter in some dummy information right now. All right, so I have her name, her email address, and phone number. And so I'm going ahead and click create up in the top right. And you can see Sally Smith has her own specific URL, her own specific form. So if I click on this, it's gonna take me to her form and you can see it's already done for her. So all she has to do is just verify, yes, this is good. And if there's any other questions, any other like sliders or multiple choice, She'll just have to fill that out and then click submit. But you can see as I click on these, I can edit them if I want to. Now, if for any reason you don't want someone to edit, all you have to do is just click right here and change it to read only. If you want to grab this one link and maybe send it through text or messenger, you can just click these three dots and then choose copy URL. If you have multiple people, you can either check individually or you can choose the select all box. You can see how many you have selected press send invitation. JotForm is going to email them for you. And there's also an optional message down at the bottom. So if you want to give any type of instructions or information about what they're receiving, you'd hit send invitation and it would be sent for you. Now do keep in mind that you can only send five at a time. That's currently a limitation, but this is going to increase your submissions by 200%, which is crazy. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions about JotForm Prefill, please leave it down below. Bye, guys.